Welcome to the Weekly Option, the podcast for people interested in trading stock options. Each week, we cover trade ideas and opportunities in the stock market right now. Whether you're a beginner, a professional, or just curious about options, this is the show for you. Let's get started. Welcome to the Weekly Option. This is episode 139 on November 8th, 2020. I'm your host, Eric, and in this week's show, we will cover the trades from last week on Macy's, AT&T, and Schlumberger, and we discuss three new trades on Tilway Inc., iShare Silver Trust ETF, and The Gap. Now, it's always great to hear from listeners. If you have any questions about the trades presented here or even about your own positions, feel free to email me. You can email questions to eric at theweeklyoption.com. That's E-R-I-C at theweeklyoption.com. I've also created a short video series to teach you all the basics of option trading that you'll need to know to be able to follow along with me on the show. You can visit our website and click on the videos tab to watch them or visit the YouTube channel for the weekly option. Now, the U.S. equity markets had their strongest week since early April. The Dow Jones Industrial Average grew 1,821 points, closing the week at 28,323 points. The S&P 500 Index gained 239 points, closing at 3,509 points on Friday. Now, this week, there's no topic of the week because I'm recording this late in the weekend. I attended a retreat this weekend that was fantastic, uh, but I still wanted to get a show in, get a show posted before the market opens on Monday morning. So I'm going to just sort of push through these today. That being said, let's go ahead and do the trade review. So we have a covered call. We were looking at Macy's stock, symbol Amazon Mike. The stock at the time was trading for $6.21 per share. I looked at buying stock and selling the November 6 half call at $0.50, cents, hoping for a maximum return of 12.72% in three weeks. Well, Macy's stock uh, picked up $0.36 cents this week, closing at $6.57 per share. The at-the-money call option is now in the money, and as long as Macy stays above $6.50 per share, you will lock in a 12 and a half, really 12.72% return in two more weeks. So it's pretty good. Our next trade is going to be that credit spread. We looked at AT&T, symbol T as in Tango. At the time, the stock was trading for $27.02 per share. I looked at selling the November 27 half, 28 call spread at 15 cents which could give us a maximum possible loss of $0.35 cents per spread. Well, AT&T stock grew $0.40 cents this week, ending at $27.44 per share. The at-the-money call spread we sold is still at the money. The spread can be repurchased right now for $0.20, cents, leaving you with a $0.05 cent loss. This loss is only created by crossing the bid-ask spread, which always means you'll pay a bit more. So all in all, I would stay in this trade. It survived a significant jump in the overall economy and still appears to be poised to make some money. So no adjustment needed on this one. And then our final trade from last week was a debit spread. We looked at Schlumberger, symbol S as in Sierra, L as in Lima, B as in Bravo. At the time, the stock was trading for $14.94 per share. I looked at buying that November 15 half 15 put spread, paying 32 cents for the spread and hoping for a maximum gain of 18 cents, or that's a 56.25% return in three weeks. Well, shares of Schlumberger rose 28 cents, closing at $15.22 per share on Friday. Now, the in the money put spread we bought is now more like at the money. And I'm not overly concerned yet because of the intrinsic value in the call option we, I'm sorry, in the option that we own, the November 15 half put. It has 28 cents right now of intrinsic value. And if you were to close the trade, you would lock in a 10 cent loss right now, but I wouldn't alter this trade at this point. If you choose to, you could sell a lower uh, put spread to bring in enough money to offset the minimum amount of loss that you're taking this week on this trade. But of course, that also significantly alters the profit 
and the risk profile uh, of the trade. So I'm not sure it's worth it. Either way, uh, I think this is a trade that you could hold on to for a little bit longer if you decided to get in. Uh, or if you're, act if you're wanting to hit the door, then um, you have to make that decision for yourself as well. All right, let's get into the new trades for this upcoming week. So we're going to start off with the covered call, looking at Tilray Inc., symbol T as in Tango, L as in Lima, R as in Romeo, Y as in Yankee. The stock ended the week at $9.63 per share. I'm looking at buying stock and selling that November 10 call at $1.52, hoping for a maximum return of 19.6% in two weeks. Now you enter this trade by buying shares of Tilray stock for $9.63 per share and selling the November 10 call at $1.52. Now this trade makes the most money if stock prices finish above $10 per share and the break even price on this trade is $8.11. The stock purchase would require in real terms $963 and you would collect another $152 for selling the option. Our next trade on the week is going to be a credit spread. We are looking at the iShares Silver Trust ETF, symbol S as in Sierra, L as in Lima, V as in Victor. The stock ended the week trading for $23.79 per share. I'm looking at just selling the November 23, 22 half put spread at 15 cents, which could give us a maximum possible loss of 35 cents. And you enter this trade by selling the November 23 put at 48 cents and concurrently buying the November 22 half put for 33 cents. This is the credit spread because we are selling the spread and this trade makes the most money if stock prices finish above $23 per share. The break even price on this trade is $22.85. Now in real terms you would receive $15 per spread that you decide to sell and have $35 at risk. And then our final trade on the week is going to be a debit spread on the Gap. Gap Inc. Symbol G as in golf, P as in Papa, S as in Sierra. The stock ended the week at $21.43 per share. I'm looking at buying the November 21, 21 half call spread for $0.33 cents and hoping for a maximum gain of $0.17, cents, which is a 51.5% return in two weeks. You enter this trade by buying the November 21 call for $1.26 and concurrently selling the November 21 half call at $0.93. Cents. This is a debit spread because we are buying the spread and this trade makes the most money if stock prices finish above $21.50 per share. The break even price is $21.33 per share. And in real terms, you will pay $33 to enter this spread and your maximum gain is $17 per spread. So thank you guys for listening to the show. Obviously, this is a, a truly abbreviated recording uh, just to get you going for the week. Don't worry, we will have the full show next week. Take care, and as usual, happy trading. Thank you for listening to the Weekly Option Podcast. Please subscribe to our show and visit us at www.theweeklyoption.com. Disclaimer, there is a very high degree of risk involved in trading. The indicators and strategies described in this podcast are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. For our full disclaimer, visit our website at www.theweeklyoption.com.